Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My quick tip today is regarding the brand new Detailed Trio Punch. This does three different punches in one and you'll notice the unique triangle shape. Let me show you how it works and I've also got a tip for you to create a decorative label. I have a piece of Highland Heather cardstock and I just cut it in a square just to show you how it works. This one right here is going to create a really pretty decorative corner. So I'm just going to slip my corner in. You're going to see too that there's two guides, one here and one here. That's going to show you where the cardstock needs to line up so that you have a proper punched corner. Lay it on a flat surface. Do not try to hold it and I'll show you why in just a second. Then what you'll do is you'll use the heel of your hand to apply pressure on that specific corner. So then I'm going to press. And look, isn't that really sharp? What a pretty corner. And you can do that all the way around or on one or two corners, making it really easy for you to maneuver because you just slip the corners back in. This is a corner rounder and I am loving this. Now there is one on the envelope punch board, but if you don't own it, the detailed trio punch is gonna be your best friend. I've cut a narrow piece of cardstock here that we're gonna turn into a tag using both the corner rounder and that little small, what I'm gonna call almost an oval. So I'm gonna slide this in. There are little guides here and here to show you where the paper needs to go in. So just make sure you're up against there. And again, the heel of our hand here, it's gonna give us that perfect corner rounding. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing this time and I'm gonna push. So we've got some really pretty corners for our tag. And this one here is gonna create an opening for the tag. Now, unlike these that are working in the corner, this actually has a guide that's straight across the edge. You can work with varying sizes of cardstock. So I'm just gonna slip that in, and then you're gonna be able to gauge by just looking at it on your stamp table. So just look that you have about equal space on either side, and again, the heel of your hand, and that's gonna create an opening. Now, let me tell you why I absolutely love this shape. With a ribbon that tends to be narrow, it's really hard to get them into a circle because what we have a tendency to do is make that circle bigger to get the ribbon through without breaking the hole. So this shape is absolutely perfect for that. But you know what else you can do? Go ahead and stick it inside your punch. And if you wanted to, you can just move it along the border and look, you can make a little decorative edge. Isn't that cute? I wanna show you one other way you can use this decorative corner. You may remember me telling you that you're gonna to wanna to use this flat on a surface when you punch because you can see how sharp this is and you don't want these pieces to come through your hand should you punch it upside down. Let's just imagine that I have a greeting on here and I want a little bit of a decorative edge on either side. This is how you can use this image. I want you to slide it in and this is a one inch wide piece of cardstock. Obviously you can go as long as you want and you can see that these images will actually punch out here including a little notch here and a circle. Do not put your fingers over this punching mechanism. You're going to put them here. And we only need pressure on this side because remember these are different images. And then I'm just going to press and that's going to pop them right out. And then I'll flip that over. I like to dump out my scraps so I can kind of see where I'm going. And we're going to put this one in as well. Again, punching up here and then squeeze. But look at that. Isn't that neat? Now we've got decorative edges on what would house our greeting. So we've got ways that you can use the brand new detailed trio punch. You're going to be able to find this punch in the Stampin' Up! catalog here on page 211. It's here at the top. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're interested in receiving a complimentary copy of the brand new annual catalog that came out in June of 2018 and are interested in Stampin' Up! supplies, I would be happy to send you one. Just leave me contact information below so I can get your address. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. I look forward to seeing you next week for another quick tip.